Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. In case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe for updates. Neuroaxial, we are talking about the, ep the spinal and the epidural. Anesthesia and they are related complications. So, what are the complications? First, we look at the adverse or the exaggerated physiological response. So, what is the adverse or the physiological? Adverse or the exaggerated physiological. Adverse or the exaggerated physiological response. So, this includes the urinary retention. So, there is presence of the urinary retention and then there is also the high block which is present. So, urinary retention and then the high block and then there is also a total spinal anesthesia. There is a total spinal anesthesia which is the adverse effect or the exaggerated psychological response. So, this is along with the epidural. This is along with the epidural. Next is there is also the presence of the CA that is the cardiac arrest and there can be an anterior spinal artery syndrome anterior spinal artery syndrome and then there is also the presence of the Horner syndrome there is a presence of the Horner syndrome so all these are the adverse effects or the exaggerated psychological responses now we look at the complications the complications related to the needle or the catheter placement so what is the complications related to the needle as well as the catheter response placement so there can be presence of backache so they may be associated with backache then they may be associated with the dural dural punctate or the leak so there's a dural punctate or the leak so they can be dural punctate or the leak and this includes a post dural puncture headache so this includes a post dural so there's a post dural puncture headache so there's post dural puncture headache and there is also diplopia there is presence of diplopia so there's presence of diplopia means there's involvement of the sixth cranial nerve so means there's a involvement of the sixth cranial nerve and this is mostly affected so there is diplopia so then we look at the neuron neural injury so what is present in the neural injury so in terms of neural injury the nerve root as well as the spinal cord damage is seen so the nerve root as well as the sc damage as the spinal cord damage is noticed so complications when we saw it was the a needle plus the catheter and there is the presence of backache next there was the dural puncture leak post dural puncture diplopia involving the sixth nerve then in terms of neural injury there's a nerve root and the spinal cord damage next we'll move on to the bleeding so what is present in terms of bleeding so here in terms of bleeding there is the intraspinal and the epidural hematoma there is presence of the intraspinal as well as the epidural there is intraspinal as well as the epidural hematoma hematoma next we look at the misplacement so what is present in terms of the misplacement so here in terms of misplacement there is inadequate anesthesia there is inadequate anesthesia next is there is presence of the subdural block there is presence of the subdural block which is prominent then there is also the IV injection which is present so in terms of inflammation there is arachnoiditis arachnoiditis is the inflammation and then when you're looking at the infection what is it so in terms of the infection it involves the meningitis as well as the epidural abscess so it includes the meningitis as well as the epidural abscess now let's look at the drug toxicity so how is the drug toxicity so here in the drug toxicity there is a systemic local anesthesia toxicity so it's systemic local anesthesia toxicity so this is epidural greater than so epidural here is greater than that of the spinal next we look at the transient neurological symptoms so how is the transient nl that is the neurological symptoms so the transient neurological symptoms there is a lidocaine chlorobropane as well as with the preservative so there is lidocaine as well as chlorobropane chlorobropane so there is lidocaine chlorobropane along with the preservative then there is also the corda equina syndrome that is a lidocaine there is presence of corda equina syndrome so this is nothing but the lidocaine To learn and grow daily like this, please do subscribe.